Hi everyone, I'm Sunakshi Babbar, Marketing Coordinator at PACT and I am currently working for the marketing of our newly released title, Angular Project 2nd Edition by Aris to this Bumpagas. Aris is a software developer with 15 years of experience in coding and different technology stacks. Currently, he's focused on front-end web development with Angular and TypeScript. He is a Google developer expert for Angular and author of this book. Today, I got a chance to sit down with him and find out more about his experience and journey of writing this book with Pat. Hi, Aris. Can you please introduce yourself and tell us what is your specialized tech area? Hello, everyone. My name is Aristides Pampakos and I'm from Greece. I'm the author of the book Angular Project 2nd Edition and my specialist uh, tech area is the front-end programming and especially the Angular framework. That was good. So, my next question to you is how did you become an author at Pact? Tell us about your journey and what was your motivation for writing this book? Right, so this is my, first, this is my second book. Uh, I have already written a book about Pact and uh, my main motivation through both books was that I wanted to transfer my knowledge and my expertise about the Angular framework. Okay, so did you face any challenges during writing process and how did you overcome them? Actually, my main challenge was that um, how to find all the resources about uh, the book because the uh, Angular Projects, second edition, is a book that explains you how to create uh, web applications using Angular with 10 different technologies. So my main problem, my main, uh, I was really struggling to find out resources on how to integrate Angular with each of the technologies. So I needed to go through all uh, the, through the resources for each specific technology and learn more about it before writing each chapter. Whoa, I must say that's inspiring, Aris. So what kind of research did you do and how long did you spend researching before, you know, actually starting to write this book? Actually, I wrote the book in a way that I was researching and then writing the chapter. So uh, whenever I needed to start writing the chapter, I was going through the documentation uh, and other resources about the specific technology. I was reading about them and then I was starting to writing each chapter. During writing the chapter, I needed to go back to the documentation and find more resources. So it was more of a right and a trial uh, way. Okay, that's great. So can you please reveal what are some key takeaways you want readers to come away with from this book? I really needed, I, re, I, I wanted to, to give the readers, uh, actually to, show, to showcase how uh, awesome is the Angular framework and especially the three pillars of the Angular framework, which is the cross-platform, uh, the easy onboarding when you want to get started with Angular, and the incredible tooling. Angular is cross-platform. Actually, it's not cross-platform by its own. It's the community that makes it cross-platform. So you may see that in uh, many chapters, you will see how to write an Angular application for desktop, for mobile, for web, for the server, different environments. So each chapter showcases how to um, how to take advantage of the cross-platform uh, nature of the Angular framework. The second one is uh, the ease and uh, speed of onboarding someone with Angular framework. You will notice that it is very easy to get started with Angular. Angular contains many libraries. Uh, it consists actually of many separate libraries. For example, there is a library for forms. There is another one for integration with HTTP. So when you need to integrate uh, each of these libraries, it's very pretty straightforward, as you can see from the chapters. 
And the final uh, pillar is the incredible tooling that the Angular framework has. And you will see through the chapters that we're using many tools, uh, the visuals, many tools and Visual Studio Code extensions, like for example, the Angular CLI, which is a very powerful command line interface for, for Angular. Uh, the NX console, which allows you to uh, to run Angular CLI commands through graphical user interface, or even the NX monorepo dev tools. So in this area, in the tooling area, the tooling area is very strong as far as Angular Framework is concerned. Well, that was insightful, Aris. So what advice would you give to readers learning tech? And do you have any top tips? Actually, I would tell them to go and check out the documentation of the technology that they are interested in. Because, you know, uh, there is a wealth of information out there in the web. So when someone wants to get started with a specific technology, the first thing that they do is check out uh, through Google or Stack Overflow or other similar resources. But the real source of truth for its technology stack, for its technology, is the documentation, the official documentation of it. So I would suggest them to first to check out the documentation of its technology and uh, take it from there. And if, if something is not there, then they can go to check out other resources. Thanks for the tips, Aris. Can you share any blogs or websites or forums to help readers gain a holistic view of the tech that they're learning? Sure, uh, I would say that the angular.io, which is the official documentation about the Angular framework, uh, it contains many useful uh, resources. Actually, it is the only official documentation of the framework. And then there is also the Angular Nation community, which is pretty strong and contains a wealth of information for someone that wants to get started with the framework. That's great. So how would you describe your author journey with Pat? And would you recommend Pat to aspiring authors? Actually, my experience with uh, author, with uh, co collaborating with the Pat, it was really great. I mean, the, um, my editorial team was always there for me to help me in any difficulty that I had. Uh, I, 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 I could contact it with them in any time and they would answer to me straight away uh, generally they were very helpful and they were very nice so i would totally recommend pact for writing a book if someone wants to do it that's awesome Alice. so do you belong to any tech community groups if you can tell Actually, I'm, uh, I belong to the Google Developer Experts program for the Angular Framework. And uh, I'm also a co-organizer in the Angular Athens Meetup here in Greece. Okay, got it. So my last question to you, Aris, is what is that one writing tip that you found most crucial and would like to share with the aspiring audience? Mm. I would say that they should never stop writing. They should write each day, every day, even a little, for example, 1,000 words. You should never uh, leave it or take a break uh, as you write your book, because sometimes I notice that if you take a break, then your mind uh, changes its mentality and uh, you procrastinate. So, uh, if you can, you should write as little as you can each day so that you can keep the writing pace of your book. That was amazing, Aris. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk about your author journey. It was a pleasure to learn more about your approach to being an author. I wish you all the best for Angular Project 2nd edition. Thank you. Thank you very much for this uh, opportunity and I hope you will enjoy my new book. See you.